everybody, welcome back. Um, today I'm really excited to share that this is my um, first design team project for Tracy Fox, who is Love Junk Journals on Etsy. You guys, I'm sure you all know who Tracy is. She's got beautiful kits. Um, and this is also my first design team project for Butterbee Scraps. Um, they are online and they offer a huge range of metal um, pieces and things to complement your journals. So you guys check them out. I'm going to point out as we go through um, what I've used from the Butterbee scraps um, <clears throat> alongside with Tracy's. It, they complemented each other so nicely. I've been using Tracy's um, kits for a while. I love them and um, this kit is no exception. It's the Ula Chic. Beautiful kit. Um, I love it. I love the blues that are in this because I was just saying, uh, I think a week or two ago, that I don't think there's enough blue in um, the design, you know, the digitals that are out there. I don't see a lot of it. So it had been quite a while since I'd visited um, Tracy's shop just because I've been so busy. And when I went in and looked, I was thrilled to see this. And when it prints out, guys, it is gorgeous. So let's just get started, and I'll go through and point things out to you as I can. Um, this journal is a 6 by 8.5. It's a two-signature. Uh, the closure is Sorry Silk. Um, let's just start with the front. This is one of the metal filigree pieces from uh, Butterbee Scrap Scraps. <coughs> Beautiful. So I thought this went so nice on the cover um, without it being too... My covers, I really try to keep them so that it's still practical for, for you to journal in. Um, so I like the fact that this doesn't add bulk but it, it really just finishes it off really nicely, I think, um, without being too much. Well, that's my th thoughts. <laughs> um, what I've done on this, <clears throat> this is a, a file folder. Um, I've created the cover from a file folder. <clears throat> and then I took some of the um, Tim Holtz tissue paper and some of his collage medium and covered that. Um, you guys know how I feel about Mod Podge. The collage medium from Tim Holtz is better, but it's still not my thing. <laughs> so you probably aren't going to see a lot of things that I do that are, are, are going to be the decoupage because it's just, oh, it's brutal. Um, this is a piece of really old lace that I've put, um, I put a layer of <clears throat> Tracy's design, then the lace, came back and I've doubled up her, um, these were tags and I cut them down, stitched those, lots of stitching going on, lots of layers, it's really sturdy. And then I came back and look at all the, um, these are old, old trims. And then this was a doily that I've, I've taken apart and then just various pieces. Because like I said, I I like shabby chic, but I, I, I just, I don't like it to be too, mm, you know, frilly. I, I don't know. So I hope, I like the way it's come out. I hope everybody else will as well. Um, everything's been sewn in with a five hole pamphlet stitch <clears throat> this is the back of the journal again I've taken one of the images in in the kit and uh, stitched around it I've added my shop label there and we've got some sorry silk holding it closed I will put the links below for, um, you know, what I've used from Tracy's shop and what I use in um, the metal from Butterbee 
scraps, I'll, um, I'll put the item number in the links below for those items. It was, um, <clears throat> it's so fun to be working with, um, with Butterbee um, scraps because it's um, something new for me and I do love uh, vintage looking pieces uh, within the journals. Uh, it's so yeah I was delighted when um, when I got on their team. <laughs> so anyways here's the front. Uh, I just got to show you guys a side view of this. Isn't that delicious? Love that. Um, let me just say very quickly, <clears throat> I want to give credit for the uh, pages to Tracy Lyon, Lyon Warner. She has a channel on YouTube and she recently did, in fact I will put a link to this tutorial, <clears throat> she did a link on how she does her layering of paper and as we go through I'm going to point those pages out to you guys um, where I used her technique. Otherwise, <clears throat> I've got this ruler and I, I tore every paper in here. Um, and I know I've had ladies ask me in the past about this, so I'm going to put a link below where you can purchase this ruler. It is a very good investment. Because um, look at that. I mean, that is just Oh, you just want to touch it? I love it, love it, love it, love it. But I will point out the pages that um, that I use the technique from Tracy. So <coughs> thank you so much, Tracy. I did I did ask Tracy if it was okay if if I um if I you know used that and she was fine with it. So um, I do want to give credit to her on those pages where I I used her technique. All right, this is. Some more, um, now I don't remember which ephemera came in this kit, but I have used two of Tracy's kits in here, and I want to show you guys. This is the, the Oula Chic, is the main kit, and then I've used the Faux Femora kits, the Vintage Faux Femora, and I don't, I don't know if this is from that kit or if it was in with, because she does give you some ephemera with the um, Oula Chic, so, um, and this is one of the tags from the kit, so that's awesome. And then here I created, <clears throat> I love this, I love that, so I just made a little pocket out of that. I believe that's part of the faux ephemera kit, and then here I just created a little tuck spot, and this is just something from my own stash, and this as well. Anything that I thought complimented the, the uh, journal. Um, if I don't say it's from Tracy's, then it's just odd pieces. Here I took some um, old receipts that I had uh, printed out a while back. I've layered it, stitched it on. I mean, you can't believe how much sewing is in this journal, guys. This is one of the envelopes Tracy includes. I've not glued this one shut because I thought you might want to use it for some journaling. But look at the images. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. She makes uh, really, really pretty kits. She does. Um, this is a page. I just did some tearing. Um, and then I've added this. Um, comes with the kit. <coughs> in Tracy's kit. And then this was one of my old postcards. And I thought, oh. Look at them. They look like they just come back from Paris. And I turned it over and it's uh they've been to Liverpool. So they still look happy enough, don't they? So I've included that because that's an old one. <clears throat> I love it when they've got the old post dates on them. Here I've done a uh, handmade card. Uh, tag, sorry, and I've done some stitching, a lot of stitching in here, guys. Um, glassine pocket and just an old <coughs> French receipt. I've ruffled it up so it looks really, really old. And then just another one of my, did a bit of collaging down here. And here, 
as you can see, well, I hope you guys can see, <clears throat> what I did with every page is I've torn it and then stitched it to the tea dyed. So it's all tea dyed in here. You, you're not going to see any white in this um, journal. And this is uh, one of the pieces that comes in the Oula Chic. And then just another one of my journal cards. <clears throat> this is one of the pockets Tracy gives you. And then this is, I believe this is part of her faux femur. You've got to get that one. Oh my gosh, has it got some gorgeous stuff in there. Um, because I've been wanting um, flashcards, vintage flashcards for forever. And I can't get my hands on them. Um, and if I can, I have to worry about the duty of them coming in here. Um, I took one of Tracy's background pages and I printed it onto vellum. And it came out amazing. Look at that. So that's in there with a the little tuck spot there. <clears throat> and I, I distressed with some ink along all the, the page edges as well. And look at that. That's another one of the pages from there. <clears throat> Here I just tucked in some little tag flips that I created. Um, for, and this page what I did, I took one of those, you know how when you buy your doilies, um, to get the bigger ones, sometimes you end up, like from the Dollar Tree, you'll end up with these massive doilies. So what I, I you can't waste them, can you? So I took it, I stitched it to the um, tea dyed paper, and then, and I I give credit for to Lori, um, yeah, Lori, oh gosh, for, for, Oh, I know I'll slaughter her name. Ferusco, or I think that's her last name. Um, she is the beeswax queen. And so I, <clears throat> I I learned this from her. So then I took this and put my beeswax on it and melted it with the iron. and Because um, I've got an iron that I only use for crafting. And that, oh my gosh, I love it. And with the smell when you're doing that is such a, amazing. And then over here, see, it bleeds through. But you don't have to worry about that transferring on because it's beeswax and it's gone cold and all that. But I love the look of it. It makes it look so old. Um, here I've put some more really old um, lace. Then in this, um, this is one of my music sheet pockets. Um, and these come in the kit as well. So you've got those extra things for journaling on. Um, this is one of the pages um, that Tracy gives you a tutorial on, and I'm going to put that link below. She takes her um, baking paper and sandwiches it between, and I'm not going to go into detail because you can check her tutorial out. She can explain it better than I can. But it's, it's got the baking paper, then the tea dyed, and some old book page in it. So you got that nice crinkly sound when you're um, flipping through. Here I had an old um, uh, photo. It was a handmade paper photo album that I picked up from TJ Maxx, gosh, probably eight years ago. And I never did use it, so I started tearing it apart. And I just, um, because I want to save the paper because it is really, really nice. It's thick. You could do some mixed media on this with no problem. And uh, I just put some ribbon through so that just kind of flips out. I just thought it was really pretty with this because it looks very French to me. <laughs> um, this is another one of the pages I, I used from Tracy's tutorial. Love that. Here I did... Um, some collaging on this little glassine envelope and I've tucked in another little card from my my stash of things. Um, this is one of the free um, stamps I got in, in a, um, this opens up so you got a pocket there. Um, let me show you guys. I've had people asking me about this. The creative stamping I went online and found this, and you get, um, let me show you the big stamp set you get with it. And it wasn't bad, because I think when I got the magazine, which the magazines, hmm, you know, you could take it or leave it. Um, 
but look what you get. You get this big stamp set. I hope you guys can see that. Um, and I think I ordered it online with shipping and everything. It came to like, um, I don't know, about seven pounds, you know, about seven pounds. But if I hadn't been paying attention, because they charge me like two dollars for shipping, or two pounds for shipping, I keep getting the pound and the dollar mixed up. Um, if they had a, if I had been paying attention, if I had spent, I think ten pounds, I could have got the shipping for free. So, for, you know, just be aware of that if you if you go on it. Anyways, this is another little um, card I have in my stash. I thought it went nicely with this. Some more of that beeswaxed wax. Um, um, technique and thinking about it because I can't pronounce her name all um it's Lori she's girl on the ridge that's it girl on the ridge you guys check her out because she loves to use beeswax and that's where I got that from and oh my gosh I am so she's so now I, I've named her the beeswax queen I don't think she knows that but um I I give names to <clears throat> to people who you know do something and they do it really really well it's like oh she is you know she's the all-knowing of beeswax and I love it because that's she's one of the first people I found when I started this um you know the junk journals and oh my gosh I'd watch her for hours and hours and hours and um, and so I, I finally got me some beeswax. I was like, oh, I gotta try it. And I loved it. I fell in love with it as soon as I tried it. So thank you, Lori, for that. <laughs> okay, over here I've done a little tuck spot, and I just clipped this little um, little ticket that I had in my stash. I ticked it. Now this buttons um, journal card you get with Tracy's kit. So I just clip that there. I didn't show you guys. I should have. Sorry. Over here. I'm just, I, this is why I can't talk and try to show you things. Um, this is one of the little metal pieces from Butterbee Scraps. I love those and I thought oh that's going to look so good because what I like about it, it's not adding bulk to the journal because journals are for writing and I like to be really conscious of I don't want anything that anybody's gonna it's gonna get in the way see it just you can push it off to the side it's not gonna affect writing on this page whatsoever so those I think are just precious and so that's one of my little tea bags altered tea bags and I've taken Tracy's ephemera and I've just collaged it with some old ledger paper that I had and this came from <coughs> Create, Creative Cafe. I bought these back last summer off of Susie. I love her shop. And these, oh gosh, if I've been hoarding these things, these little tickets. Um, but she's got gorgeous stuff in her shop as well. But it's just, I can't, I can't get it over here now. It's stinking duty, boy, I tell ya. It's really put a damper on my craft supplies. <laughs> Um, here is one of my faux, um, it's actually vellum. I named that tutorial faux glassine and after, you know, about two days afterwards, I said, what the heck was I thinking? That's not glassine, it was vellum, so I need to go back and change the name of that, but you guys know what I'm talking about if you've been watching. But this, um, because I had a lot of ladies say, well, is that going to transfer on? And I've not had any problem with it. But I did a bit of um, stamping on some muslin, stitched that. So I just tucked that in there. Um, uh, here's the back of those flip things. i got to get going. Goodness, I'm still in the first signature. Um, here I did another collage. Tracy was so sweet to send me a pack of... Um, vintage stamps bless her heart so I finally had time I, I sat down and did a bit of collaging and that's one of the um, stamps thank you Tracy <laughs> and this is one of the stamps guys from um, that free set isn't that beautiful it, I'm really impressed with that stamp set for, with that magazine and this is this comes from the kit too and this is one of the old um, vintage <clears throat> T 
tea cards and um, they just look like they have been to Paris so I stuck them in there. In fact I've put a couple of those in. Um, this is some more of the vellum that I printed on. Another one of the pages from the kit. Isn't that beautiful with the lines? The blue is um, it's just a really soft, pretty blue. I love it, love it, love it. Here is one of the little um, tickets. So I've just tucked that over. I did, um, I made another tag with some leftover paper I'd printed and then put some lace down there. <clears throat> it's a big journal. Here um, I did some more layering with some book page and then some of Tracy's digital um, paper that came in the kit and stitched that. And this is another page. I love that. <laughs> so pretty. Oh, look at it. Can you guys see? Oh, I, do, I love how this journal's come out. It was so much fun. Here, um, this is another um, tea bag pocket that I made, just collaging, and then another one of the little metal pieces from the Butterbee scraps. Uh, just a couple of journal cards and another little handmade tag. More vellum paper here. I wanted to print that image out, and I love that. That's come out so, so pretty. Here is another music sheet um, pocket. And this is another tux bow. I don't know why. <clears throat> I must have stuck those into another part of the journal. So I'll come I'll come back and add another couple of tags. I thought I had um, <clears throat> put them in every one, but I, I must have missed that. Here's some more. Um, I love doing these. I love these little flip outs. And that's out of some of the uh, paper from the, um, the kit. This is another tag that you get as part of the ephemera. Beautiful. And then this is a um, book page pocket that I, I made. I've, I've stitched around it and then it's, it's glued down so it's in there. Here is some more paper. Beautiful. Um, doily here. I took some old um, receipt, stitched it there. And this is another one of the um, little envelopes that you get with the kit as well. Beautiful. So I've just clipped that on so you can either glue that down or, or just use it for some more writing space. Okay, and then this, this is another piece from the faux femra. I'm happy to have that because I'm running out of those um, alteration tags that I brought with me. Um, and these are just various things. This is from the kit. And then these, I stamped this out from the Tim Holtz um, stamps. And this is another little um, pocket envelope. And then this is one of my butterfly. So you could... You can move this throughout the journal wherever you want. And just a little bit of collaging there with some script washi. And this is another piece from the kit as well. Uh, another music sheet pocket. And here's, I love that page. That's the one I did on the vellum as well. And then another, I went ahead and put another one of these in the center because I just, I, I really like that paper. Um, and then that's the back of the music sheet pocket there. Another bit of uh, lined paper. And then on this one, this is one of the pockets that you get. Um, I've included another, this is a French 
It doesn't look like it would be Hotel Jose, but it is. When you look on the back, I'm pretty sure it's, it's French. So I included that. And then this was something I found, and I just thought it, it just looked like it. It says artistic leather goods, but it looks to me like it should be from France. So I've stuck that in there as well. Um, this is another, um, I love these little bulldog clips that, um, this is Butterbee Scraps. She sent me these and I'm crazy about them. Um, they're nice bronze little clips and I love them. So that's been clipped in here. Like I said, the link will be below if you're interested in these. Those are so pretty. They're, I prefer them to the Tim Holtz because these are the bronze and they are nice. Really, really nice little clips. Oh, I know what I was going to show you guys in here. This is just a floating pocket. But I've also included this. Um, this is a genuine um, check from the 14th of June, 1907. And it's got the stamp on there, I guess, when they deposited the bank. You know, look at that for 10, 10 pounds. I guess, or maybe, yeah, I think 10 pounds, that's what it is. So I have put that in there. I picked that up at the flea market. Um, <clears throat> gosh, I guess about eight months ago. So that's hidden in there. Um, but it just, it had to go with this journal. And here I've done a little coin envelope and I've put some little shabby chic clocks. I love that. So there's nothing in the coin envelope, but the back I've created as a pocket and this is part of the um, faux femora kit. So I made a tag out of that. Love that. Lots of writing space still, but it is a big journal. Here I created, um, this is one of the pockets in the kit. I've added some lace. I've just made a little tuck spot here with a couple more. This is, this is one of the ephemera pieces. And then that's another couple that I'm sure has just come back from Paris. They look so happy, don't they? And another, this is one of the tags that you get in the kit. And I've added a little key, some Irish linen thread, and some lace there. And here's some vellum that I've printed out on. And that's the back of the journal here. Um, here, uh, gosh, there's so much. I love that this is all part of um, this ephemera kit. And then this is part of the... Um, Ola Chic and this one as well. Look at that. I love that. So that's been tucked in there. This is part of the kit. So that's been tucked in and then this. I love this. Nice big piece. Um, and this is why her ephemera kits are so, so nice. Another glassine bag with various things that I've just tucked in there. And then here I've done a really big pocket. So you've also got this massive pocket on the back where you can tuck things. Okay, guys, there it is. It's pretty chunky, probably chunkier than I would normally make. But I wanted to get everything in here. And I'm just, I'm thrilled with how it's come out. It is a beautiful kit to work with. So I'll put all the links below, guys. Um... And I will see you back soon. Thanks for stopping in. Welcome to all my new subscribers. I appreciate you guys. And I hope that you'll give this um, video a thumbs up. And I'll see you back here soon. Take care. Bye.